Good morning and welcome back to the Zilda B. Wiley Public Library in Cedar Hill, Texas. I'm Miss Ann and this is your virtual story time. We like to start things off with a song called Hello Friends. Why don't you watch and then you do it with me next time. It goes, hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. Let's do it together. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. Okay friends, today is August 10th which is National Laziness Day. I decided to read stories about one of the laziest animals we know, a sloth. Let's go. Slowly, slowly said the sloth by Eric Carle. Slowly, 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 a sloth crawled along a branch of a tree. Slowly, 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 the sloth ate a leaf. Slowly, 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 the sloth fell asleep. Slowly, 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 the sloth woke up. All day long, the sloth hung upside down in the tree. All night long, the sloth hung upside down in the tree. Even when it rained, the sloth hung upside down in the tree. Why are you so slow? The howler monkey asked one day, but the sloth didn't answer. Why are you so quiet? The came and asked, but the sloth didn't answer. Why are you so boring? The anteater asked, but the sloth didn't answer. Tell me, said the jaguar, why are you so lazy? The sloth thought and thought and thought for a long, long time. Finally, the sloth replied, it is true that I am slow, quiet, and boring. I am lackadaisical, I dawdle, I dilly-dally. I am also unflappable, languid, stoic, impassive, sluggish, lethargic, placid, calm, mellow, laid back, and well, slothful. I am relaxed and tranquil, and I like to live in peace but I am not lazy. Then the sloth yawned and said, that's just how I am. I like to do things slowly, slowly, slowly. The end. Well, since we aren't sloths, let's get up for a song. Are you ready? Get up and move with me.
energized, let's go to school. Sloth school. This is Score One for the Sloths by Helen Lester. It was another day at Sleepy Valley Sloth School and all the sloths were just hanging around. Once in a while, the teacher would remember his job and wake up with a lesson. All right now, everybody on. Or, Keep those snores coming. Or, all together, students, let's roll over. Most of the time, though, the class just slept. It was a sloth thing. They were content in their slothfulness. Occasionally, the principal would drop in and say with the turtle, don't mean to wake you up, but I've never in my life seen such a lazy bunch of louts. Keep up the good whatever. And the sloths would smile in their slumber. The only movement of the day came at lunch hour. Actually, it was lunch three hours when the sloths would amble around the slothateria, taking a berry at a time, slowly chewing each one ever so carefully. After all that exertion, it was nap time again. Then the students were off to study hall. And then it was time for recess. The dismissal bell rang at three o'clock sharp each day, but it was dusk before the sloths left school because no one wanted to get up to open the door. Do I have to? moaned one. I did it the last time, yawned another. My leg hurts mumbled a third, so everyone was happy to go back to sleep until six o'clock when the custodian swept them out and they rolled home. One day a new sloth came to school. She had just moved to the area and her name was Sparky. Sparky was perky. She was full of life and energy, energy and vim and vigor and vitality. She was a mover and a shaker and a go-getter. And by mid-morning, she was driving the other sloths crazy. Let's read a story. Hey, we could use a little music. Want to build a castle? Anyone for math? How about some poetry? The lazy sloths shook Sparky off, nudged her with their elbows, and shoved her away with their toes. So poor Sparky sat in a corner, fidgeting on her first day of school, feeling very unwelcome. What a bunch of bores, she sighed to herself. Then she looked up and there was a real boar at the door with a clipboard. From its outfit, it was clear that it was a wild boar. The boar announced, I am an official representative of SOS. That's the Society for Organizing Sameness. Wait till you hear what we know about you. 
It says here in my report that Sleepy Valley Slut School is a disgrace to the entire Mammal District. Hold oh, no. on. The boar was getting wound up now and began pacing wildly, shaking trees, whacking some of the sloths with the clipboard and poking others with a pencil until everyone was awake. Want to know your scores? Without waiting for the answer, the boar boomed on, reading dreadful. Music, the absolute worst. Block building, zilcho. Math, forget it. Poetry, off, below, and way under the chart. Oh my. Thus, I am here from SOS to close this school. The slots gasp. <gasps> their school, their happy, peaceful, slothful school. They had to do something, but they weren't doers. They had never done anything. Only one sloth could help them now. The mover, the shaker, the go-getter. All eyes turned with hope to Sparky. Sparky addressed the wild boar. You mentioned reading. Reading, of course. She passed out the books. And the sloths, being unsure what books were, sandwiches, began munching. Reading, whispered Sparky, not eating. She laid a book over each sloth. The slots looked like they were reading. Music. Sparky whipped her violin out of her knapsack and played Flight of the Bumblebees. While the other slots snored zzzz. Very realistic. Block building. The slots were well past their nap time, but they threw themselves into their task. Occasionally, a sloth, in need of a quick snooze, would get sandwiched, but that made the tower all the higher. By now, the slots were thoroughly exhausted. Sparky pressed on. Matt, what's two plus two? The answer came in a groan for get it luckily the wild boar heard only the four and not the get it so he didn't get it and the last subject you mentioned said sparky was poetry off below and way under the chart if you please we will select we will recite the way of the sloth. Of course, all sloths everywhere had been brought up with this poem. They'd known it since they were babies. They could recite it in their sleep. So they did. The way of the sloth is gentle and kind. It hangs from the tree with nothing in mind. It doesn't make faces or throw fits or holler. It never gets heated under the collar. It's surely no bother. That's easy to see. It just hangs around contented to be. That, stated the wild boar, was impressive, most impressive. Some nitwit must have confused your school with another. Sleepy Valley Slot School is a credit to the entire mammal district. Off stopped the wild boar with the clipboard and everyone, especially Sparky, settled in for a peaceful, well-deserved, and very long nap. 
Well, friends, it's time for one more song before we go. I think you know which one. For today, boys and girls, tune in on Wednesday at 10.30 for Heroes and Helpers. Have a great day.